Hey guys, this is MacEd101, and today I'm going to be showing you the caffeinate terminal command. This command is designed to prevent your computer from falling asleep while some important task is running uh, that you don't want to get interrupted. So before I knew about the caffeinate terminal command, I would occasionally find myself going over to system preferences and finding the energy saver pane and setting display sleep all the way up to never. And I would do this so that whatever program I was running would continue to run and my computer wouldn't just fall to sleep and quit the program or stop the program. Um, and this is obviously a pretty bad solution because, uh, first off, if you forget to reset it, it's not great. And also because it doesn't exactly fine-tune uh, what's happening to the program that you're running. So maybe I could say, okay, the program I'm running is going to take about an hour, so I'll make it so my computer doesn't go to sleep for an hour. But uh, if the program actually takes a little longer than an hour, then your computer would go to sleep and you know, quit the program. Or if it takes less than an hour, you're you know, wasting energy. So uh, what the caffeinate command does is it basically lets you uh, take matters into your own hands. Instead of having to deal with this crude system preference pane, you can prevent your computer from going to sleep in very specific uh, scenarios. So the most basic usage of caffeinate is uh, caffeinate-d. And when this is running, your computer's display will not fall to sleep. So this is equivalent to basically going into system preferences and dragging display sleep all the way up to never. Um, the only difference is it doesn't actually change any settings and when you quit the command uh, it, it goes back to the way it was before. So now my computer can fall asleep. So this is a really simple way just to, um, you know, if you have this running to prevent your computer from going to sleep. One thing to note is your computer will still go to sleep if this is running if you close your laptop's lid or you hold the sleep button or something like that or if your computer runs out of power. Um, but for some people this is actually enough. You know, it's basically equivalent to going into system preferences and dragging the slider. Um, but for a lot of people this is actually, uh, you know, it's nice but they could actually get a lot more out of the caffeinate command. So let's say I have a specific terminal command that I want to run that I know is going to take a while but I don't know exactly how long it's going to take, and I just want to make sure my computer doesn't fall to sleep while that task is running. So uh, to do this, I can do caffeinate-d, and then all the arguments after the dash d uh, will be arguments to the command I want to run. So uh, let's say I want to run an md5 hash on this file that's right there on my desktop, and I don't want my computer to fall asleep while that command is running. So I just type the, the arguments, you know, the first argument is the command name, I hit enter, and uh, you'll notice the caffeinate-d actually ran this command, and uh, when it finished, everything is done. So uh, while, while this command was running, my computer actually couldn't fall asleep, or my display wouldn't fall asleep. But now that the command is done, my display would fall asleep. So that's actually uh, already pretty useful, but sometimes you run a command and you don't realize it's going to take a while. And w then you realize you have to go somewhere and you want to make sure your computer doesn't fall asleep. And you can't just quit the command and rerun it with caffeinate because you, know, you would lose some progress or something like that. So uh, to exemplify this, I'm just going to run you know, a Python command, Python console, and I'm just going to pretend that this is a program that's going to take a long time to run. Um, so I can actually attach caffeinate to the process ID of whatever process I want to wait for. So I can do caffeinate, whoops, caffeinate dash D, and then dash W, and I'm just going to quickly grab the process ID for this. Um, so right here it's 29833. And when I hit enter, caffeinate is going to wait till the process with this process ID is done, and that's our Python process. So you'll see that caffeinate is running, and when I actually leave Python, caffeinate leaves, uh, you know, dies as well. So it was extremely useful uh, for that specific case. And so you can really use caffeinate pretty much for any command or any task that you are running on your computer. You can use caffeinate to wait until that finishes. Um, so I find that to be pretty much the main use case for this command. Um, there are other things caffeinate can do. For instance, you can set a timeout. So if I do caffeinate-d, um, dash T2, for instance, this will wait for two seconds, and for those two seconds, my computer will be unable to fall asleep. Um, of course, an equivalent thing would be if I did sleep2, because it's just running the sleep command. Um, then there's other things. So uh, you can use caffeinate to emulate a mouse movement or a key press, basically, to say, you know, to tell your computer that the user is active. And to do that, you can just send a signal, basically, saying the user is active by doing. Um, 
dash u. And uh, I, I've never actually found this useful, but I guess it would be useful if maybe you were SSH'd into the computer and you wanted to wake it up from display sleep or something like that. Uh, another thing to note about caffeinate is if you run it with no arguments, uh, it's actually going to prevent system sleep but not display sleep. So what that means is, if I go back here, you'll notice in system preferences there were two options. I could set the display sleep and the computer sleep. And while the display is sleeping, uh, obviously the display turns off, you know, you go to the lock screen if you try to uh, um, wake up your computer, if you have that configured. But uh, programs that are running in the background will still be running until the computer, s computer sleeps altogether, you know, until actual system sleep. So if you use caffeinate without a dash D, your display will fall asleep, but uh, depending on what task you're running in the background, uh, that task will continue to run after the display goes to sleep. So for some who want to save energy, this is actually better than caffeinate dash D. Um, and there's a couple other things, you know, you can use it to prevent hard drives from spinning down, things like that. Uh, but this is basically how I use it. And if you want to know more, you can check out the man page by just running man caffeinate and using the arrow keys and, uh, you know, use Q to get out. And that will tell you everything you need to know. So I really uh, appreciate knowing about this command. My friend actually told me about it. And uh, if I hadn't found out about it, I would have kept doing my same dumb thing of going into system preferences and changing the setting there. So uh, thanks for watching MacHeads 101. I hope you learned something. Subscribe and goodbye.